what is the value of connecting the other five billion? How do we get there? And is it worth the effort? Well, connectivity is a, an amazing thing, whether it's connecting up a health center so we can help see that the stocks are there and give advice to a worker who may not be trained as a doctor. Getting connectivity to school rooms is a fantastic thing. There are many important things, education, good governments, yeah. having a measles vaccine so kids aren't dying of that. And you know we have to prioritize those things. But it's wonderful that connectivity will be an enabler, transparency for better government, edu education, and health. And it's one of the many things yeah. that will help us do a better job. When the tsunami hit South Asia, and we put, we did everything we could, put all the fishing families back in the water. Mm -hmm. They all lost their boats. And in uh, Aceh and Indonesia and in Sri Lanka, we gave them all with their new boats a cell phone. The average incomes went up 30%. Once people could know what the price of fish was, just 30 miles down the way. After the Haiti earthquake, we realized that 85 to percent or more of the people had no access to banking services because the six big banks there could make more than enough money in an easier way by taking all the remittances from Haitians working around the world converting them into local currency, charging a fee, and then you spend the rest of the day reading the newspaper. Mm -hmm. So we got a Canadian bank, Scosa Bank, to partner with Digicel, the biggest cell phone company, to offer basic consumer banking services over the internet. Mm -hmm. If you don't have connectivity, you can't do that stuff. And we're just beginning, we're just beginning to do this. Mm -hmm.